Hello everyone and welcome to the Animators Headspace. Today's video is going to be about the Netflix animated series Arcane, which is based on the League of Legends. And I just wanted to take the time to react to the latest trailer footage for the final trailer before the show actually releases. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it. First thing, one of my favorite things about this uh, Arcane art style in general is just the fact that we have uh, what I like to call <laughs> moving concept art. Right, if we take a look at this clip here, we can actually see this is pretty awesome, right? So the thing I like about this is the fact that even though it's 3D, it feels like a concept painting come to life. And I've always absolutely loved, you know, when you see this kind of stuff, I've always loved um, you know, the art of books. Whenever I watch an animated feature film and they show the art of the making of at the end credits, I always think to myself, I imagine what, you know, what would a film look like if every frame was kind of like the concept art? And Arcane is kind of like that and it's just amazing to look at. You know, you can see like highlights like this in the face near the uh, the tear duct area, which is really, really cool. I mean, that's it looks like a lighting effect, but really, what that is is like texturing i could be wrong but i think that's deliberate texturing highlighted in that specific area mapped onto the 3d model uh it's just stuff like that that just makes this uh you know arcane stand out to me um it's really really good let's go ahead and take a look at some more stuff i think we can play the audio as well cool Just so gorgeous. Look at this. Love the art style of this. And this character, this character design that they've done here is just really, really beautiful. Really, really cool. And they've spared no expense here. The details. Look at that. I just can't wait to see more of this stuff moving. It's gonna be amazing. And you can see another example here where you know we've got a close-up of the same character. And she's really, again, with the highlighting here and here. Again, I don't think that's lighting. Of course they have lighting in this because it's CG, so they have to, but I honestly genuinely think there's a shading artist that's gone in here and intentionally mapped these areas to highlight. And I've seen this in um, sort of concept art. I think there's an artist called Keenan Lafferty. I think he has a YouTube channel where he does stuff like this. Um, I'm not sure if he works in League of Legends or Warhammer or something like that, but he does stuff like this where you can see this kind of art style with the highlighting and the eyes and the tear duct area. It's really, really well done. And even though it's 3D, it feels like a moving concept art. <laughs> it's really, really great. It's one of my favorite things about Arcane okay, and I'm just, I'm so in awe of the artistry on the show. Like, just take a look at this stuff. Really, really cool. It's a moving painting. It's it's a moving painting. It's a moving concept art. I can go on any frame, right? <laughs> and the whole thing just looks absolutely gorgeous. Not to mention the characters really uh, nice looking too. But I digress. But yeah, no, this is really, really cool, man. I love the style. Even the earrings are kind of shaded like that. Really cool. Yeah, the hair as well, all these wonderful details. And it's got a nice little uh, painterly feel to it. Like it follows the lines. Really, really cool. Ugh, so good. So this is just me nerding out about this stuff because <laughs> I love animation. Uh, yeah, man, so cool. And we have other things as well. Like, let me take a look at this footage here. That is so cool. I don't know who animated this. I have a couple of friends that I know in the industry who are working on this show. So I have no idea if they worked on this show or not, but this is amazing. And this whole thing looks like a moving concept art come to life. It really is just amazing. And you can take a look at these details here. There's extra details here. Just look at that. Look at the shading. Look at the shading around here. Again, got the highlights around here as well. Really, really cool. This stuff almost looks, like you've got the outline here. Really cool. It almost looks very nearly cell shaded, but not quite. 
really really cool stuff and I just honestly I can't wait to see this when it comes out 6th of November it's gonna be out pretty soon <laughs> it's really cool yeah man another one here as well that I really really love is this one um, just look at that I mean how is that not a painting look at this see what I think they've done is they've uh, there's obviously a group of artists right but I think what they've done is they've selected a whole uh, maybe just one particular art style and they've gone for that particular concept style and they've mapped it onto all of their characters and it just has this really wonderful beautiful sort of look to it and you know one thing I really love about animation and computer animation in general is that the, com the technology is becoming so finely tuned that we're starting to do away with the sort of the clean polished CG look and we're getting into more of a artistic nuance in terms of how you know the artist applies the brush stroke to the canvas and that's what we're getting here as well just just look how lovely this is it's amazing oh, man I'm not really going to do a sort of an analysis too much of this I'm just nerding out about how good this is and I can't wait um, I should have done a reaction to the first trailer, however, I was busy working uh, on a feature film. Uh, it was super crunch time, but the film's over now, we're done with animation, so I have more time to do these uh, YouTube videos here. But this stuff is just amazing, look at that. I mean, I, I'm so envious, I wish I worked on this. <laughs> this is cool. So you have another example here of just like how you know, again, it, it looks like a, a splash page, um, you know, when you play those video games. I don't really play video games myself, but I've seen those sort of splash pages that load up before uh, someone starts playing a game. And you can see it here, like just look at the, look at the details, the contour lines on the face, you know, the highlights again on the tear ducts, the deliberate shading here. Again, it's, it's you know, the scene is being lit but there's been a deliberate attempt by the texture artist, the shading artist, to go in. Uh, this is a process they call UV mapping, which is really cool. And they've gone in and just added all these extra details because you can't actually get the lighting to make this contour on the face work, right? You can do it with the geometry as well, which is cool, but that takes actually extra shading work to make that happen. And the different planes of the face here it's so freaking cool it's it's geometry but what we're seeing in the final result is actually like the shading detail so so good man look at all that different planes of the face ah, it's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous love it The next thing we're going to look at is another thing that I really love about the uh, the trailer and the overall show, uh, the overall uh, aesthetic of the show, is that they've gone ahead and mixed, uh, you know, different animation styles in here, which is really cool. Uh, I should say different animation methods. So here we have uh, something known as animating on ones and animating on twos. So you have different types of animators working on this same shot. So if we play the shot through, I'll let you just watch this. Really, really cool. <laughs> Super dynamic, man. That's so cool. So what, what's happening, what I'm talking about here is you have this animation right here, which is really cool. Uh, you, these two characters, you know, I think her name is Vi, and you've got this other weird robot dude. I don't know who this is, but it's really cool. And these guys are moving on once. So for every 24 frames a second, like for every 24 frames, the character's moving one frame right and 24 frames represents a second there is a technique in animation where you can do animating on twos which is essentially basically exposing one frame twice as long so you essentially you end up with 12 of the same drawings which is really really cool um, it's it's it was primarily designed as an economic way to handle animation but it's also used as a style so what I'm talking about specifically here is if we look at this you can see if we frame by frame this just frame by frame it you can see 
the actual you can actually see it right here as well like it's really cool you can see the geometry the 3d is moving on ones but the effects are done on twos so it's been exposed for an extra frame and you can see this throughout and it's such a lovely thing that they've done to just merge these two different styles or, or methods i should say so on one hand you probably got a character animator doing these guys right and on the other hand, you've got another animator who typically would be referred to as an effects animator coming in and doing these guys. Effects animators basically do the same thing that animators do, except they do things like weather, uh, you know, snow, things like that, but they just don't do characters specifically. So there's a character animator and then there's a effects animator. And just look how amazing this stuff is. There's another shot here that's just ugh, beautiful. Also, look at this. I want to point this out. This isn't really ones and twos, but like I love this. This line of action here is just, ugh. It's so dynamic and it's in such a, a shape that kind of, you know, this sort of, <laughs> you know, shape here kind of makes it look like it's a really dangerous object. Like she's just like hit him so hard that she's launched him into the air. It's really amazing. Another thing you can notice here, Oh man, it's actually really, really cool. This is such a strong line of action. Wow. I don't know who animated that, but that's really cool. Uh, also, again, you can see another example of this with the effects work being done on twos. Is again, you can see if I skip frame by frame, the characters are kind of moving on ones, but the effects are on twos. So you can see this stream of like smoke here. It's really, really cool. It's on twos. Again, you've got the character animators down here doing the character work and then you've got the effects animators coming in and doing the effects work here <sighs> I honestly am so envious of this man I really really wish I was working on this <laughs> this is so cool oh, what an amazing shot and I love how dynamic everything is as a composition overall it's really really cool <sighs> so cool let's play that back one more uh so cool so cool got another one here let's play this one back uh look at that look at that so again you can see the effects here on twos right twos and then the animation right like the actual character animation is on ones so so nice and again Look at this line of action. Look at that dynamic posing, right? So clean, so neat. You know exactly what's happening when you look at it. It almost reminds me of like a uh, Dragon Ball Z, if you will. <laughs> uh, when I was a kid, I used to watch Dragon Ball Z a lot. I used to see this stuff. And look at this detail, like. Right, there's that moving hold with both characters. I don't know if, let me see. Yeah, there's that moving hold with both characters. And then she goes ahead and that one frame shift where this gauntlet that she's wearing fires off and just ah, look at the reaction in the body. You can see that there as well. So cool. But even though the chest, the torso changes, right? The overall silhouette remains the same. Really, really cool. I mean, it's a nice way to handle like moving holds and easing out of a pose and stuff like that it's really really cool and then just look at this massive explosion again there's no other purpose to this video other than just me nerding out I mean my god look at this I'm so jealous <laughs> in fact I probably think if I was working on the show I might not get any work done because you know I might be using shotgun which is like an internal thing that uh, these studios use to look at the progress of these shots. Damn, this is so good. You can see it again here, the 2D effects. Just so nice, so nice. Look at the expression, the dynamic pose again. Really, really cool. that one frame silhouette where everything is silhouetted by the 
the impact. That's so cool! And, oh, as well, this kind of reminds me of um, Avatar The Last Airbender, if you will. I don't think this was their intention, but it just looks like this. With these effects here, kind of looks like airbending. Really, really cool. And as you can see, again, they're on twos. Boom, boom. Every two frames, they expand. Really, really cool. We've got another one here. This is more of a subtle example, but you can see it here. Let's play this one through. Ah, that's so nice. You can see it here. So everything is moving on once in terms of the 3D character. And then you've got the effects animation moving on to you notice this you can actually see it here notice how the character the CG moves but the effects stay in the same place and then the very next frame it changes right so that's what you do when you work on twos and it's so good how they've done it and again it's something that you don't necessarily see it's something that you feel right and that's the thing about animation is that you want to feel it more than you see it so people who don't know that much about animation might not notice it. So hopefully this video has enlightened you in some way. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just great work. And you can see at the beginning here as well, the geometry moves, but the effect stays in exactly the same place. So, so cool. Again, you wouldn't catch this with the naked eye because you're not supposed to. Oh my God, it's done so well. It's amazing. I just love the blending of like methods and art styles to make this work. And I, you know, um, the animation studio that's doing this, I think it's Riot and Fortiche, which is really cool. Uh, I've never worked for Fortiche. I, I, I want to work for them now. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh God. Ah, I'm just nerding out. I'm nerding out. This is great. This is amazing. So yeah, like I said, this is less of a reaction and more just me nerding out about this kind of stuff. Just, just, I mean, come on. Come on. So, so freaking good. Anyway, I didn't want this video to be too long. I just wanted to go over all of the stuff that I'm really looking forward to seeing on this show. I'm excited, it's something new and I haven't been inspired like this in a very, very long time. So I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully it's a great show as well. Uh, and if you guys enjoyed this, consider liking the video and subscribing. Enjoy the rest of your week.